I'm excited to show you the self-service loyalty configuration that we've added to Maui. We've heard from you guys for a long time that you were looking for a way to be able to, to more granularly set the both the accrual rate and the redemption rate of loyalty points. And so uh, we've now added that in under the deals tab in Maui. So if you go to deals, go to loyalty, this will list out all of your loyalty configurations. Uh, you're allowed to have one of those for rec and med per store, as well as one default. And I'll show you how you configure that. So if I go in here, hit edit, um, right up here is how I'm deciding which stores and uh, whether it applies to red rec med or both. If I clear this out, this applies to all stores. This is now the default for both. And so um, if I add a new store, this will be the one that, that it works with. Um, if I just don't have a configured loyalty program for an existing store, this will be the one that it uses. And then if you've got a specific configuration for a store, it'll override the default. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the stores that we want this to apply to. Uh, med rec both, as you'd expect. Um, you know, med customer, uh, customers checked in as med will have loyalty accruals this way. Um, and then uh, same with rec. If I scroll down further, this is the points redemption. You've got some kind of default configurations up here that I can select between. And then I can also type in any particular rate that I want to try with. And so um, this bubble right here will actually give you the breakdown, do the math for you. And so if I have this accrual rate, 0 0.025, that means for every 100 points, there will be a dollar value of $2.50. If I keep scrolling down, uh, this is the points accrual. And so um, for every dollar spent, I'll, uh, I'll accrue and then it tells me the number of points. If I select it, it'll show me exactly how this works. And so for every $100 spent, I accrue 100 points at a one to one. And then it also shows me based on the redemption rate above what that's worth. So I spend $100, I gain 100 points. Those 100 points are worth $2.50. This is the, the kind of complete um, uh, math. And so if I change this to two, I can now see that my $100 accrues 200 points, which is worth $5. And so I can do that day by day. I can change how much I accrue on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, et cetera. I can also set it up that it changes by time. And so, um, you know, typically on a Sunday, uh, it'll be from, uh, you know, from sun up to sundown, uh, one point per $1. But I could set up something like on Fridays, uh, I've got a happy hour. So between 420 and 520, for every $1 spent, I accrue three points. And again, I'll get that same calculation down here when I click in. So for $100 spent, I accrue 300 points. Those 300 points are worth $7.50. Additionally, I can override by group. And so here I've got VIP customers. For every dollar spent, they're accruing double points. So double points for VIPs. Just move myself out of the way there. Um, and so same, same thing, you get the calculation here. Um, and so if I add a second one, I can continue to just like change this per group. Uh, I can also remove that. I can also create a new customer group here too. So if you uh, happen to be in a situation where you, you know, you're missing a group, we do have a handy uh, tool just to be able to create a group right from here. And so if these are in conflict, and so you know, it, I'm running a promotional rate during a specific time, and I'm also in a customer group where I'm getting escalated points, whichever one is higher wins. And so um, if it's uh, between 420 and 520, and so I should be accumulating three points, but I'm a VIP, I'll get three points, not two. Once that's all done, I can hit save. And I got the summary over here on, on the side, I can add another program that way. And so uh, that's how you configure your loyalty programs. Excited to see how you all decide to use this.